used a square knot in some shape, form, or fashion in your life. Anybody tell me how we tie a square knot? Shit. What was that? The two oh, knot, left two right knots right back. Right. Left over right and then right over left. All right, that is a common way to tie a square knot. Now I'm going to show you one different way to tie a square knot that the AC4313 depicts. Okay. Now, curve tip needle, your string, flat string, and you want the length of it from about fingertip to fingertip. All right. That's going to be should be enough to accommodate your project. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and you're going to go down one side here. All right, guys. Uh, You're sweet, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I just did the same. Hold up. Just have a couple people do this, all right? And then send it around, all right? I started it first. Okay. Whoever's got the best angle, do it and then send it Whoever around. Whoever has an iPhone, go ahead. All right? Y'all can just airdrop it to each other. I'm an Android. Android. Oh. <laughs> no, he said airdrop. <laughs> Yeah. 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 All right, guys, so down one side, up the other. Now, when you do this, you need to make sure to not tie your needle onto the cord, all right? Pass it through and then kind of twist it on. That way it doesn't get pound up on it. Long side on your left, short side on your right. The left side here, you're going to make a loop, just like that. You're going to take your two fingers here, you're going to go inside that loop, you're going to come down like that, and then you're going to pull them together. And then you're going to come with your other hand, you're going to pinch on the back, and pinch those two loops together, just like that. All right? This is what it looks like when it's laid out, just like that. All right? So, loop. Two fingers through, come down, pinch on the back side, just like that. Now, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to take this short cord and you're going to pass it through those two loops, just like that. All right. Short side in, passing through. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this long cord and this short cord and you're going to pull it down tight. Now I'm going to kind of show you what the square knot looks like though, because this is what you're shooting for. That is your square knot, just like that. Two loops perfectly intertwined with one another. If it does not look like that, that means you didn't tie a square knot. you got to undo it and do it again. Now, no island. We don't do islands, we don't do alligators, and we don't do foxes. <laughs> so, just like this. Take it down tight. Pull this short cord and your long cord. Pull it down almost all the way tight. When you get down close to tight, you're gonna stop right there. You're gonna take your short cord here and you're gonna pass it underneath the lace, just like that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna finish that out, get it good and tight, pull it over to your right side. You're gonna take this short side that's sticking under and you're gonna pass it through that loop that you created when you did that. What this is called is a half hitch, right? Hitches are not standalone items. They're usually done in conjunction with other knots. You can't just have something hold with just a hitch. All right, so this is used to lock off your square knot. So, short tag in through the loop, and then tighten that down onto the existing knot. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing with this cord. But being that this is already tight, you're gonna play hell trying to get this underneath that lace. So what you do to facilitate this is to take your needle, Put it on your cord and use your needle to help you out. Take that needle, pass it underneath that lace. Now, if you've got a long enough line, you can take your needle out and then go back through the hole. But that's not the most efficient way to do it. The most efficient way to do it is to take this, this line right here, take that, and just wrap it around that needle once, and then pull your needle through, all right? So that is a half hitch with this line, and then a half hitch with this line. That is your starting knot. That's done. Now what you're going to do is kind of give yourself a little bit of tag to it. You're going to take this cord, or this uh, needle here. You're going to go in through this same hole that you just were working out of, right? And this is the modified sign knot. You're going to use the curved tip of the needle 
and you're gonna stay underneath this fold of fabric and you're gonna come out of that hole, all right? So you're not going all the way down, you're just gonna need underneath this piece and then up out, all right? So from here to here, two and a half, there to there, one and a quarter, all right? Now, the curved tip of the needle, you gotta make sure to have it twisted right, that way you can find the hole. And then, Yeah, just like I did here, free punch all your holes. Makes it a little bit easier for you. Now, one thing you're gonna to need to do is take this knot subsurface. One way of doing that is pulling on this cord while pushing on that knot. But what is one direction you don't wanna pull this cord? Oh. Yeah, up would be one of them, right? So we don't wanna pull up, because what's gonna happen? It's gonna pull right back to you, all right? You don't wanna pull out this way, it's gonna rip as well. The way I find that works the best is to take this cord and pull it like this longitudinally with that rib and then kind of pressing on that knot. And it's gonna end up kind of pulling it in. It might enlarge the hole just a little bit like that, but it's fine, it's not ripping. That's the important part. Then this tagline can be tucked down in there and hidden, all right? Now, this knot, this is a modified sign knot. So, got our needle, got our line on our needle. We're gonna take our needle, we're gonna go back into the same hole that we just came out of. Then we're gonna come out the other side. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna maintain a three inch loop on this side. All right? Our needle comes over the other side on the bottom. here you've got to make sure that the cord that is coming back to this knot is on the uphill slope all right or the furthest away from you all right it should be the cord that you can't pull any slack out of all right it should be solid so this one we can't pull any slack you can actually see the cord showing up up underneath that piece of fabric your other one right here take and pull it you can pull slack out of it you don't want that all right now This is where you guys are gonna have some fun. Left hand is gonna hold the cord. You tighten any other cord other than this one first and you're gonna screw up your knot. You have to pick it out and start over. So it's imperative that you hold this cord during the entire process. Now guys, I'm left-handed. I teach you guys right-handed because the majority of you guys are right-handed. Uh, for any of you left-handers out there, you're just gonna have to do everything on the left-hand side here instead of on the right-hand side. Same knot that you're tying, you're just doing it on the left instead of the right. So easy peasy, not that big deal. But I, uh, you know, I learned right, so I teach you guys right. I do rib lacing right, but I, it's crazy. Anyways, left-hander problems. Right hand, you're gonna be working the needle. You're gonna come underneath this cord and you're gonna capture this one and you're gonna bring it to you. Look at this piece of reinforcing tape, almost like a road map or like a road that you're working on. Don't get too far off of this road, all right? It makes it more difficult for you, all right? You guys paying attention back there? Y'all messing around. Take your needle up underneath this cord, all right? Capture this one here and you're gonna pull it back to you, just like that. You should take a look at what your book is telling you and compare it to what you have here. If your cords don't look right, that means you didn't do it right. Back it out and start over. Don't just say screw it and try to tie it anyways. Now, I'll do it again. Needle underneath the first one, capturing the second one, bringing it to you. You want about as much needle sticking out here as the length of this cord. It makes it easier for you to work with it. You don't want all this needle sticking out and you have to sit there and do that number with it, all right? So, 
Now from this point here, you're gonna take this needle in your hand, you're gonna go clockwise. And you're gonna take this needle point here and you're gonna go over this cord. Then you're gonna go under this cord. And then you're gonna take this cord that's in your left hand, you're gonna swoop it underneath that needle tip and then back to you. All right, so clockwise going over. When you get to this point here, use the curvature of the needle to help you out. So instead of trying to take that needle tip over, all you gotta do is just roll that needle tip. When you roll it like that, it's gonna pin it, that piece down, all right, going over that cord like we wanted. And we're gonna come underneath that one. And then we're gonna take our left hand and come underneath the needle and then back to you. All right, let's do that again. Needle underneath, capture, bringing it to you. Same length of needle sticking out as the length of the cord. Going around clockwise, rolling to your right, going over that cord, under that cord, left hand, underneath and back to you. Now this cord, your needle now goes all the way home and it's dropped down. Your left hand here is gonna be the first one that you pull. Pull this cord, not that cord, all right? This cord right here. Pull this one up, reset, grab down closer, pull up. When you pull up and you don't have any more slack to pull out, and you're being fairly aggressive with it, all right? Don't go over there and just rip the part of it, rip it apart. But as you're pulling on it, pull over to your right. If you're doing the left hand approach, you're gonna be pulling to the left. You're gonna feel more slack pull out. That's what you want. You want all that slack to be out. Now at this point here, you've got this loop and your cord connected to your needle. You're gonna pull the cord connected to your needle with your finger loosely on the knot to kind of hold it in place. There you go. That's a modified sign knot. This knot you're gonna reproduce over and over and over and over again. Rinse and repeat, same one, all right? In through that hole, up out here, down through, maintain the loop, over, up out, same thing. The only difference in between this knot here and the knot that's going to be at your ending point is going to be the incorporation of a half hitch. Sounds familiar, don't it? We just got done doing one on that starter knot. So just like you did a half hitch here with this line, you're going to do a half hitch with this one. So let's just say, theoretically, that this is our last knot. All right, and we gotta secure it off. You're gonna take this needle, you're gonna pass it underneath, and then what are we gonna do with this line? Wrap it around that needle point, right? So you're gonna take this, wrap it around that needle, and then pass that needle through. And then tighten this down onto the existing knot. So what that does is it locks it off. I guarantee you, if you don't do that step and you bring it over to me and I take my finger and I go and test it, it's gonna pull out. It's one of the tests that I do for it. So make sure to incorporate your half hitches into all of these. What's up? Oh, so do the half hitch with every sign knot that we do? No. The half the hitch, ending. that's right, the half hitch is for the end. And it's also, though, for the beginning on the square knot. So square knot, two half hitches, mm -hmm. modified sign, modified sign, modified sign, yeah. modified sign, and with a half hitch. Okay. Yep. Now from this point here, let's say you're done, you take your needle, you go in through that hole, out the bottom side, give it a tug, that way it'll pull that knot subsurface, and then all you gotta do then is just clip it flush and it should suck it right in and it should give you plenty of pigtail for it to kinda adjust when I go to pull on it. All right, so keep in mind guys, do not, do not clip off a knot and don't leave any pigtail. You need to leave a good inch or so on a pigtail, okay? Because they're knots, they're gonna pull up a little bit of slack. Just keep that in mind. Cool? Cool, have fun.